students in this video we are studying about solution of first order first degree equations let us take an example x square plus y square plus x dx plus xy dy is equal to 0 now here there are the number of possibilities that the solution of this can be give, uh, found in a different ways but preferably when the equation is given of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Go for verifying this for the exact differential equation. So what do we mean by the exact differential equation? Given an equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0, if the partial derivative dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, then that differential equation is called as the exact differential equation. If it is not exact, there are the some rules where we can reduce this equation to exact differential equation by multiplying some factor called as integral factor. Before we go for those integral factors, let me check whether the given differential equation is exact or not. I am verifying for the exact because it is given in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So, on comparing the m is equal to x square plus y square plus x and here n is equal to xy. Do m by do y. The do m by do y means that it is a partial order derivative of m with respect to y. So, with respect to y, the x will be treated as a constant. Now, here the derivative of x square with respect to y is 0. So, it is 0. The derivative of y square is 2y. The derivative of x is also 0. So, we have dou m by dou y is equal to 2y. Similarly, the dou n by dou x. So, it is a partial derivative of n with respect to x. With respect to x, y is the constant and the derivative of x is equal to 1. Here we note that the dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. If the given equation is not exact, we will try to reduce that to the exact form by multiplying some factor. That factor is called as integral factor. Now, you just to differentiate, the, take the difference between dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x and see whether it is close to m that is x square plus y square plus x or n that is x y. Now if I take the differences it will be either plus y or minus y depending on whichever the quantity you are taking it first. Now see that that y is close to x y. So therefore the integral factor in such case we find it by taking 1 by n. Why we are taking n here? The differences between these two is y and that is close to the n. So it is 1 by n. If n is first, you need to take dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. So this will be 1 by x y 2y minus y is 1 by x y into y. The y get cancelled. It's 1 by x. Take that as f of x. If it is function of x, then we have the integral factor is equal to e raised to that function of integration of function of x. So it is e raised to integration of 1 by x dx and integration of 1 by x is log. So, it is e raised to log x. e raised to log is the same function. So, it is x. So, here the integral factor is x. So, once we get the integral factor, that factor we need to multiply to the differential equation. So, it is x into x square plus y square plus x dx plus xy dy. 
is equal to 0. So on multiplying, it is x square y plus x y square plus x square dx plus x square y. It's not necessary to show whether it is exact or not. Just for our understanding whether the integral factor is correct or not, let me check the exactness again. So it is, this is m. So m is equal to x square plus x y square plus this is x cube x square and n is equal to x square y. Now dou m by dou y is x cube derivative is 0, x square derivative is 0. So it is 2x y square derivative is 2y. So we have dou m by dou y is equal to 2xy. Similarly, dou n by dou x, the derivative of x square is 2x, y is the constant. We see that after multiplying with the x, the non-exact differential equation is reduced to the exact differential equation. Dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. So the differential equation is exact. Now, if the differential equation is exact, the solution of the differential equation is given by integration of m dx by keeping y as the constant plus n y. So here this n y indicates the terms of n which are independent of x. Now integration, the solution will be integration of m. It is x cube plus x y square plus x square dx plus the terms of n which are not containing x. So here there is only one term in n and it contains x. So we have ny is equal to 0 and that's equal to the constant. Now this we integrate by keeping y as the constant term. So integration of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4 plus here y square is the constant. The integration of x is x square by 2 plus the integration of x square is x cube by 2. So it is equal to the constant. So the solution is x raised to 4 by 4 plus x square y square by 2 plus x cube by 3 is equal to constant. Thanks for watching.